Okie dokie, artichokey. It is time for math. You got your math brains on? Good. Yesterday we looked at groups of six dots, and today we are going to look at groups of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots. Okay, good. So, we're going to make put the sevens into two groups. The groups I see are a group of four down here and a group of three up here. Let's flip this over. Hmm, this is a different one. Do you think it's still seven? Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now where are we going to divide up here? I see this group of four up here and a group of three here. Maybe a group of one here. And then this would be a group of what? Six. Six. Okay. Let's move on. Oh, this one is. You remember this? Our group of six from yesterday. Now we got a group of seven, but for sure I see a group of one here and a group of six there. Let's see a group of four here and a group of four there. Or a group of two. And then what would this group be? Five. Let's look down here. Oh, this one's very obvious. This is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have the group of two and a group of five. That really sticks out. They're very separated. Okay. Let's look at the next one. This one's very obvious. Again, it is a group of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Group of three and a group of four. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like that other one that had the six and the one, but the one's in the middle this time. So what are our groups now? Probably a group of four and a group of three, or the group of four here and the group of three here. It's probably the most likely. Seven again. Here's a group of four on this side. A group of three. That's an interesting one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A group of two down at the bottom and a group of five here. And I think we got one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think a group of three and a group of four is what we're going to go with there. Okay. Now on your pack, you notice it's, it's another. This is the art week for you guys, man. You've hardly had any worksheets to fill out for math. Anyway, I want you to draw a picture of. Oh. Here's the question. You know the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, right? He had a cow, and he was supposed to go trade his cow for some money so they can buy some food, and instead he traded it for some beans. Magic beans. Well, I got some beans here, right? I got yeah, 10 beans. Let's look at them this way. Ah, now I got nine beans. These are not magic beans. They are lima beans. But here's the question. If you were to make a bowl out of clay that was just big enough to hold these 10 beans, what would that, how big would that bowl be? It would be huge if you look at it like this, <laughs> or small. So think about how big these lima beans are. Kind of one's about the size of my finger, a little bit less. And if you made a bowl to fit f 10 of them, how big would that bowl be? And then what you're going to do is on this picture here, draw a picture of a bowl, and then inside draw 10 beans. Now, I was thinking about this. It's hard to draw a bowl, so I would draw a circle, like you're looking down at the top of the bowl, like this, instead of sideways. And then fit your 10 magic beans inside of that bowl. You can pause that and do that now. I don't mind. It won't hurt my feelings. We're going to leave the back again to draw some more things as I get ready for our measuring lesson. We've got all of our 
things here and I gotta come down like this. Okay, here we go. These should all look familiar to you. These are the containers that we used yesterday. I'm gonna be using that in a minute. Let's move these back and move this one forward. Um, does anybody remember how many scoops I filled this with? Let's count them again. And if you're saying nine, you're right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine fills that container to capacity. So here's what we're going to do on the back of this paper. I want you to draw a picture of this container filled up, and then I want you to write equals nine scoops. Now, let's uh, take a look back here and see what I want you to write. First of all, draw the container. Fill it up with all of those little uh, wheat things to capacity. And then an equal sign is just two lines like this. And then I want you to write nine scoops. I'm not sure. Let me write this bigger. Equals, big fat line, nine S. C O O P S nine scoops. See that all right? I think that's okay. You can freeze that so you can copy it or have your parents help you with writing the word scoops. Okay? So the capacity for this container here is nine scoops. Okay? Now Let's get this guy. I think I'm going to need my, my uh, funnel here so I can, let's, what's your prediction? Draw a picture of this container. How many scoops is this going to take? I think that we counted these last time. One, two, Three. Okay, so on your paper, you got this, and then I want you to write that this scoop, this container equals three scoops. Okay, and you, again, you can pause this all you want so you can get that written. This container equals three scoops. All right, now we've got our uh, flower vase. Now, remember, when we poured this in here, it came up to only about there, right? So, obviously, this container is going to hold more than nine scoops. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. By the way, you can be drawing a picture of this vase. Ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, it's getting close. Thirteen, fourteen. 15, one more, 16, I don't think I can get another scoop in there. So this vase has 16 scoops. 16 is a 1 and a 6, right? Okay, so... Everybody should have a picture of the vase with wheat in it, and 16 is its capacity, a 1 and a 6.
And now we've got this container, the long, thin one. Do you remember? Is this one going to hold more than this one? Does this one hold more than this one? Do you remember? This one's shorter. This one's taller. Let's see how many scoops. Draw a picture of this, nice, long, and thin. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I can fit another one in there. There's some. There yeah, we go. Eight. Okay, so this container holds eight scoops. Equals eight scoops. All right. So let's pour this out and let's put these containers in order biggest to littlest. Okay. Which one of these is first here? Which one am I going to put down first? Well, this one's the smallest one. This has the least capacity. Which one's next? Surprisingly, it's this one. This one holds eight, and then this one holds nine, and then this one holds 16. So that's our lesson on capacity today. We're all done. I gotta lean way forward here. Huh? I can move you up. Okay, that's our lessons for this week. Been having a great time and uh, have a great weekend. And I am looking forward to seeing you all on Monday. Bring all your worksheets to me and your reading chart, of course, and your test card. Bye bye.